Hello, and welcome to Five for Friday for this Friday, June 16th, 2023. Here at Five for Friday, I try to serve as your fractional futurist. Heaven knows you don't have the time to keep up on all the news that could impact your business, but that's my job. You focus on your business and your customers and leave it to me to point out the opportunities and threats going on outside of your business. All right, ready to get started with this week's topics? Let's get going. We'll start with topic number one, solar power. Did you know that over half of all new power installations this year in the U.S. are solar? And thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, the U.S. made wind and solar parts are now cheaper than imports. In other solar news, Texas is using solar power to bring running water to low-income rural areas through the use of hydro panels that capture water from the atmosphere. And researchers at Caltech are working on harvesting solar power in space and transmitting it to Earth. Lots going on in this world, so even if you're not ready to convert to solar power, consider the opportunities for your business in this growing industry. Moving on to story number two, humanoid robots. That is, robots that resemble humans, like in all the scary science fiction movies. Um, they can perform multiple tasks, and there's value there. The Tesla AI team is showing off their robots in a strange and creepy video. Uh, and a humanoid robot startup just got $70 million in funding to speed up the development of their autonomous humanoid. And in other humanoid robot stories, a robot designed to breathe, shiver, and sweat is being used to study the impact of extreme temperatures on humans without using human subjects. I guess that's a good thing. Still not a fan of walking humanoid robots. I guess I've watched a few too many dystopian movies. And with that, let's move on to story number five. What's up with the economy? If you're a loyal viewer of Five for Friday, perhaps you'll remember I ran a special topic a while back called Recession Yes or No that tallied up the number of pro and con stories each week as to whether a recession was coming. Well, this week I saw three positive stories about the economy, including an increase in consumer spending, more immigrants filling open jobs, and economics re economic resilience keeping us from a recession. And I saw three negative stories on a downturn on VC funding, a decrease in productivity, which can be a signal of a future recession, and more challenges for small business owners seeking loans. And I saw one neutral story. 91% of manufacturers plan to raise prices the second half of 2023. So good if you're a manufacturer, less good if you're the customer. So we're still neutral when it comes to the age old recession yes or no question. Moving on to story number four, new applications in artificial intelligence. An interesting report came out this week from McKinsey on the economic impact of generative AI, um, which could increase the productivity rate I just mentioned on the economy story number three. Uh, they predict that generative AI is going to have a huge impact on customer operations, marketing and sales, software engineering, and research and development. A separate story in Inc. predicted that the top three markets impacted will be the legal profession, marketing, and business communications. Some new applications for AI include uh, personalizing the design of workspaces with architects using AI in the design process, summarizing meetings if you use Cisco's WebEx tool, and Amazon is using AI to identify damaged items to get them caught before they get shipped out, and Sam's Club is using it to check the stock levels of items as it travels around, as a robot travels around the hallways. And uh, consumers are starting to use ChatGPT to find e-commerce stores. So maybe that's the newest way to be found online. That's something worth thinking about. Um, there's more on the impact of generative AI moving forward in the newsletter. So check it out if you subscribe. Quick summary, we hope that AI doesn't cause humans to go extinct. <laughs> we are in a dystopian movie. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our final story. Story number five, do your research. As a market researcher, I feel strongly that you should research things before you just jump in on something new. Some proof coming from a few recent stories. First, casinos are making moves to make it costlier to play and harder to win with higher minimums at blackjack tables and altered odds in roulette. Research says, don't gamble. The stock market stayed surprisingly calm during the whole debt ceiling fiasco. And why was that? Because quant funds rely on computer models that don't get worried or concerned and then just keep investing if the model says yes. Research says, don't make emotional decisions in the stock market. 
And finally, a lawyer is in big trouble after he used ChatGPT to write his brief and discovered that ChatGPT used fake citations of fake court cases in the brief. Research says, don't trust generative AI with facts just yet. Be a fact checker. All right, two quick bonus stories with a few more details in the newsletter, but bonus story number one. Beyonce is to blame for an unexpected surge in inflation in Sweden. And bonus story number two. It turns out a lot of the hand sanitizer made during COVID with fewer FDA restrictions is noxious, poisonous, and flammable. So be on the lookout for exploding hand sanitizer. <laughs> and that's it for today. Thanks for joining me for this week's Five for Friday. You want to get all the links, all the resources, and my full take on all of these topics? Then be sure to check out my subscription newsletter that gives you everything in the video and more. Um, you can find out more on the link below. And as always, I hope you'll sign up to receive these videos directly from me or subscribe on YouTube so you can continue to hear about these signals of change that could impact your small business. Thanks for watching and have a happy Friday.